Solve simultaneous linear equations using matrices. You will find this on page 569 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Simultaneous equations can be solved using matrices. The equations are written as matrices with coefficients of the variable in one matrix. Let's just underline that part. Written as matrices with coefficient of the variables in one matrix. I'll explain it now to you in an example. By multiplying both sides by the inverse of that matrix, so multiply both sides by the inverse of that matrix, we end up with both coefficients equal to 1. Okay, let's look at an example. There is your two simultaneous equations. There is your two variables, x and y. So simultaneous equations can be written in matrix form. Now what they say there, with coefficients of the variables, so this is the coefficient 3, negative 2 and 10. This, if there's nothing, 1, negative 1 and 4. So 3, negative 2, 1, negative 1, x, y, and then it will be 10 and it will be 4. So I write down this side there, and then because first the variable x, that's why I put it in a column, but first the x, then the y. Now, let's call this matrix A. Let's call this x, y, y, capital Y, and let's call this matrix B. You can call it another name also, but just for explanation's sake. So we have A, x equals B, A, x equals B. Now, if you multiply both sides by the, by the inverse, so I multiply it on that side. Let me just get my pen better. I multiply it on that side, and I multiply it on that side. Okay, so remember, that's how equation work. Whatever you multiply on one side, you must also multiply on the other side. Now, take note. There is the inverse multiply the matrix A. So what will this become? This will become the unit matrix. Now unit matrix is like multiplying by 1. So you will just end up with X. And on this side, you will do matrix multiplication. So therefore, we write the simultaneous equations in matrix form, calculating the inverse of the matrix of coefficients, and finally perform a matrix multiplication. So, if I take that example now, and I find the inverse. Now, can you remember? First, the determinant. So, if I look at this, this A, 3 times negative 1, there it is. And then negative 2 times 1. Okay, let's just see. Negative 2 times 1. So, this is the negative, and this is the positive 1. So, there's a printing mistake. Okay, so if I multiply, this will be negative 3 minus, and then if I say negative um, 2, it's going to be negative 2, multiply 1, so this is going to be negative 2. So then I'm going to have negative 3 plus 2, which will give me that negative 1. So there is the determinant. Can you see? There is the determinant. Okay, then what will I do? I'm basically just going to multiply it on both sides. Do you see? There is the inverse and the inverse. Now, if I multiply it there, I get the unit matrix. And that is like multiplying by 1, and I'm just ending up with x, y. And then I just multiply. Can you still remember? I just take a row by a column. So that's 10, and that's negative 8. And if I add it up, it's 2. A row by a column. So that's 10, and that's negative 12, so it's negative 2. So therefore, the value of x is 2, and the value of y is negative 2. Let's just move it up. Methods to solve simultaneous linear equations. Elimination, we did it on in chapter 4. Substitution, we did it also in chapter 4, and using matrices. And I know of, I know my brother, he, he usually liked to use this using matrices. So it's not such a difficult method. Some people even prefer to use this, this method. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, 
solve simultaneous equations using matrices. These are the two equations. Now remember, I take the coefficients. There's the 2 and the 4, and then it's 2. Then it's the negative 3 and the positive 1 and 11 and x, y. Now this is a, this is x, this is b. Now first find the determinant. So 2 times 1 minus 4 times negative 3. So that will be 2 minus negative 12. So it's 2 plus 12 which will give me 14. Now just remember if I multiply with the inverse on this side and a it will just become the unit matrix and that's why I don't even have to write it. And also, remember, don't first multiply that the determinant, 1 over the determinant in. First, do this multiplication. Okay? And then after that, you can bring in the fraction. So, again, don't forget, it's a row by a column. And a row by a column. Okay, and then, basically, I'm just now, as soon as I have one value there, I multiply the fraction in. And I get x is negative 3 and y is 2. Okay, let's look at the examples. Number 12, A. So if I look at this one, so number A, it's going to be 6. First write down the two equations, 6y equals 11 and 5x plus y is equal to 10. So let's just take the coefficients. Remember there's a 1, 5 and there's a 1 and 10. So if I write it I can say, I can start by saying, okay let's find a. So a is going to be 6 and 1 and that 5 and 1. Do you see that? Okay, I think we're going to first do it like this. Don't, ooh make the a first. Let's first write it like this. Then x, y, before, because x is first, and then 11, 10. Okay, now I can say that the value of a will be 6, 5, 1, 1. The value of x will be x, y. And the value of b will be 11 and 10. 10. Okay, now I'm going to start by finding the inverse. So if I find the inverse of A, first the determinant, so it's 1, let's write, write everything here. So it's 6 times 1 minus 1 times 5. And then I swap, so it's 1 and 6, and then it's negative 5 and negative 1. And then I'm going to say, so this is 6 minus 5, so that's just a 1. And then I'm ending up with that 1 and negative 5 and negative 1 and 6. So actually the answer will just, because it's just 1, it will be 1, negative 5, negative 1 and 6. Okay, now I'm going to start with my sum. So now I'm just going to say, so I'm going to now start there and I'm going to say to find x, it's the inverse, remember always first the inverse, and then the value of b. So if I move it up a little bit, so then the inverse, it's going to be 1, negative 5, negative 1, 6, and b, it's 11 and 10. And then it's this one times that one, okay? So basically, 1 times 11, it's 11. Negative 1 times 10, it's negative 10. And if you add it up, you will just get 1. And then this one, don't forget, a row by a column. So this is negative 55 and this is 60. And if you add it up, you will get 5. Okay? So therefore, the value, and don't forget what is x, x is just x, y, so let's just write it in. So basically, I write it in here also, therefore the value of x is 1 and the value of y 
is 5. And that's my final answer. Let's do the next one. I think I'm just going to clean this one so that I have space for the next one. Okay, let's just make space. And then we're going to start doing it. Okay, we can even move it up, down a little bit. Okay, number B. So let's start with number B. So x plus 2y is equal to 4. And 3x minus 5y is equal to 1. So basically, there is my coefficients. Do you see? And if I write it, I'm going to say 1 and 2, and again x and y, and equal, and that 4. Okay, and then this one, it's 3 and negative 5, and that will be equal to 1. Okay, so then I'm going to start, and I'm going to say, okay, the value of a will be that 1, 3, 2, negative 5. The value of x, capital, will be that x, y. And the value of b will that be that 4 and 1. Okay. And now I'm just going to find the inverse. So basically, if I find it's 1 over the determinant, so it's going to be 1 times negative 5 minus 2 times 3. And that is going to be, and then I swap, so it's negative 5 and 1, negative 3 and negative 2. Okay, and if I simplify, it's 1 over, this is negative 5, and this is negative 6, so it will be negative 11. Okay, and then I just rewrite this. Okay, and now as soon as I make my statement, I'm going to say, let's say, I'm going to say to find my values, I'm going to say it's the inverse of A times B. Remember, I'm actually multiplying it also on this side, but a multiply the inverse will be equal to the unit matrix, which will be more like multiplying by 1. So it's not necessary to write it. So x, y, and now, so it's negative 1. Uh, oh, no, not there. Did I make that mistake? So it's just, let's put the negative there. 1 over 11. And then it's going to be that negative 5, negative 3, negative 2, and 1. And I multiply it by B, which is 4 and 1. Okay, let's just move it up a little bit. And then, uh, remember, leave first the fractions. First do this multiplication. Then it's going to be easier. Okay, so if I do that, so rewrite. Okay, this is going to be negative 20. And this is going to be negative 2. If I add it up, it's going to be negative 22. And if I do this one by this one, this is going to be negative 12 plus that 1, and that's going to give me negative 11. And now I can bring in the fraction. So this is going to be, I can even write it like a negative times a negative will be a positive. Otherwise, do it like this. So it's negative 22 over negative 11. And that is negative 11 over negative 11. And that will give me, let's just move up a little bit. That will give me then 2 over 1. So therefore, the value of x is 2, and the value of y is 1. And that's the end. You can always solve it with substitution or elimination to check the answers. 
But if they ask you to do it by matrices in the exam, you must do it by matrices.